let's understand the a point in space right uh, so remember we have already seen space comprises of three dimensions and usually in a coordinate system we think of it in terms of x y and z coordinates let's look at a point in three dimensions okay so here we have 0 comma 0 comma 0 so if you look at the center the origin there is a black dot okay so that is the position 0 comma 0 comma 0 now red represents the x axis green represents the y axis and blue represents the z axis okay now i'm going to change the x value right similarly i can take it to the negative side as well now i'm going to change the y axis y value okay now i'm going to change the z value negative positive now i'm going to change x and y so let us say this is 3 and this is 3 or 4 and this if i take it will go upwards and i can make that line also appear yes so this point a is somewhere in space and that somewhere can be specified using 3 comma 4 comma 3 values for the coordinates so think of this origin um, as the starting point and you go along the x axis y axis and z axis now we can also go negative direction so it goes below similarly y can go negative and similarly x can go negative yes now another thing is the distance from the origin so here the distance is zero because all the three axes are zero now here the distance would be square root of four square that is four because y and z are zeros okay now let's move this now what is the distance now when we talk of distance what are we talking of we are talking of zero to a so that is a diagonal diagonal distance and you know how to calculate that evaluate the diagonal using the pythagoras theorem remember this is all the three axes are at 90 degrees to each other perpendicular to each other or orthogonal to each other now if i move z axis now what happens the distance from the origin to a we will have to use square root of 4 square plus 2 square plus 4 square we can use the three dimensional pythagoras theorem now remember the distance the minimum dis distance that can be there is zero so dist the distance cannot be negative so it doesn't matter what the values are the distance will always be positive so even if you get a negative result because of some algebraic man manipulations you still take only the absolute value now let's just briefly look at the distances of the three dimensional point okay let's say we have this we have this and this so you see this is what we have to find from the origin to a so here the formula that i'm using is square root of x square plus y square plus z square so i can hold this point and move it yes
or I can do it without holding it. So in each case, the distance will always be positive. Okay, I think that's enough. Bye.